we got some Chicago Tech Crocodile basketball. As for Crocs, are set to take on the winless Appalachian State Mountaineers. Let's go first half. Nice three ball for the senior, Mahmoud Abdul Wahad. Uh, so he had a pretty quiet night, but he does get the tray right there. And then Rashad Pickney from deep. Crocodiles on a nice start. Now it's a three-point game as the point guard, senior Morgan Joseph, with a mid-range shot. Joseph with a big game. Here goes Randy Langston, coast-to-coast, -coast, tough layup over Jake Jackson. It's good. And Appalachian State up by three until the big man with the big jam, Ronald Clemens, with the play. And speaking of dunks, Anderson Weddington with a nasty jam, 18 to 15. Jake Jackson over to Walton Banks. He does not beat the buzzer. So, shot clock cheese right there, and it's still a three point game. Now, a five point game after the nice play from Appalachian State. As here's Randy Langston cooking Brashad Anthony up like toast in a toaster. As nice layup right there for Dion Johnson, the center. Crocodiles down by nine now until a three ball from Brashad Anthony, the second. The freshman sensation. And then Elijah Smith going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies. Nasty dunk from Smith. Now 32-26. Langston with the catch and shoot. Nice shot right there from the junior guard. Randy Langston is Clemens with the and one. Deion Johnson called for the foul. Nice play right there from Chicago Tech. Speaking of Johnson, he is cooking Ronald Clemens down low. 38-31, Appalachian State gets the steal, trying to beat the buzzer at the end of the half is Armir Davis, would shoot that one over Nate Brown, and Appalachian State would have a nine-point lead headed into the half. Now into the second half, nice layup for the Mountaineers, and then nice defense from Chicago Tech. Clemens with a great pass down court for Rashad Pickney, cutting the lead to nine, and then Brashad Anthony with the and one as he absolutely slams it home on the defender. What a dunk right there from BA2, Brashad and Santhony. I think I have to give a rest in peace right there to Deion Johnson, the center, who got dunked on. And then Anthony will continue to cook in the kitchen as he gets the three-pointer. 49-40, to 40. Langston trying to beat the shot clock. He does it, despite solid defense from Brashad Anthony, as another Beautiful slam from Anderson Wennington, the redshirt freshman. There's the sophomore guard, Nate Brown, for three. As Chicago Tech brings the lead down to six. Now a ten-point game as Walton Banks wants some seconds. Walton Banks, the second, hits for three. 59-52. Mountaineers going to try to beat the buzzer at Morgan. Joseph will do it. Shot clock cheese. As Appalachian State, about six and a half minutes away from getting their first win of the year. Lawn two for Morgan Joseph is good. And then Armir Davis says, what well, you can do. I can do better getting a lawn two of his own. 67-56, Ronald Clemens says, not in my house. Here comes Chicago Tech as Elijah Smith gets that one to Abdul Wahad for the layup. Smith's pass was tipped, and Chicago Tech was lucky to score. As speaking of Smith, he gets the and one. Trying to keep his Crocs in it, but Randy Langston would have something to say about that as he hits for three. But Brashad Anthony answers right back. Crocs only down by six. They still have a shot here as a tough layup from Appalachian State, re-giving them an eight-point lead. Clemens gets it to Pickney. Back to Clemens. Some confusion with it. Abdul Wahad for three. It's no good. Pickney gets it back. Pickney gets it to Clemens, who hits a big layup. Crocodiles once again down by six. Now about 40 seconds to go. Pickney for three. He hits it. It's a one-possession game. Now this just got interesting. However, a huge putback dunk for Anderson Wennington. Five-point game. Pickney hits another three. Crocodiles down by just two. So here's Morgan Joseph at the line. He makes the first one, and he makes the second one. He's money. As the Crocs need a three, they need to foul, and then they'll need another bucket. As Pickney just goes for two. He's going to be blocked. Transaction denied. And then Randy Leinston will go to the line. He would make the first three throw, and the second one would be even sweeter. As he would drill it, giving the Mountaineers a six-point lead. That's all she wrote. Appalachian State wins it. 
81-74, their first victory of the season. Chicago Tech has to be mad about that one as they now head to the road to take on the Nittany Lions of Penn State. As you can see, a change in the starting lineup. Nate Brown in a, instead of Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad. MAW has not been playing too well lately. And Nate Brown's going to try to help fix some things for Chicago Tech as there's the junior point guard, Rashad Pickney, for three. Crocs up by three as DeAndre Williams the third, tightly guarded down low. His layup will be no good. Anthony with the board. No relations to Prashad. And he gets it to DeAndre Williams who would be blocked. And then Nate Brown, welcome to the starting lineup, kiddo. Brown was inserted as a starter late last season. Seems like deja vu here. And then the Crocodiles get this steal. Here's Brashad Anthony the second with it. Step back, splash. Crocs up by nine. They are dominating early on. And then a tough layup from Nate Brown. 17 points in his first start of the year. And then Quantavius October with the dunk. Penn State with a nice three-pointer to cut the lead to nine. 25-16. Brashad Anthony beats the buzzer. He has ice in his veins. Big day for BA2 as Clemens will push the big man Kenton Anthony who does get the and one. DeAndre Williams shoots that one over the tiny white boy, Jake Jackson. And Jackson, he's going to show off the hops as he gets the dunk. And then Nate Brown, who dunked on Zion Williamson in high school, now as a collegiate player, will dunk on a Penn State player. As it's 44-31, you might as well call him Kim Jong yoon because he's launching nukes. Deep three from Anthony, 16-point lead. Here's Williams, guarded by Anthony. Block. From Brashad Anthony the second. However, Kenton Anthony would put it back. So it is a 15-point game until an and one for Ronald Clemens. Nice three-pointer for Penn State as they try to make this one a little bit closer. But Elijah Smith would have something to say about that. As the ultra-athletic wing Smith hits the three. Smith actually playing power forward in this game. As Abdul Wahad called for the foul and one for Penn State. Banks gets it to Brashad Anthony. Big game for Anthony. He had 29 points, including 20 in the first half. As a nice three-pointer for DeAndre Williams now. 76 to 60 is Nate Brown with a nice layup. The Nate Brown effect is real, folks. As Chicago Tech now up by 20 after a Brashad Anthony dunk. Of course, it's only right that Brown is the one who dribbles out the clock. And Chicago Tech wins it 84-67. So I definitely expect the Crocodiles to keep Nate Brown in the starting lineup. As they absolutely dominated in this one, upsetting the Penn State Nittany Lions. <laughs>